Hello and welcome! This is a very quick review now here in this improvised setting again because I think I should make it easy on myself. I have to do too much, I'm so tired, had to put three kids to bed. Oh god, they were so annoying today. My heart still glows for good typography and this is what I'm going to help you with today. Like Hannes sent in his website for typographic review and I'm going to take a quick look at it and tell you some improvements. So what do we have here? It's a website for a fashion brand and it should be honest, local and durable. Volvis. I'm not sure if this is pronounced correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, Hannes, please. Let's take a look at the font choice here. I always use a nice tool that's called Fonts Ninja and he's using Active Grotesque. Great choice by Dalton Mark a foundry near and dear to my heart and he's also using Adobe Caslon and Caveat. So these three typefaces are applied on the website and let's browse through it briefly. Now let's get a nice atmosphere here and he said it should be durable and luxurious. So luxurious and honest it seems. The, the, the approach he took is he used for his headings, he used the italics and for the body text, the um, active grotesque, the, the sans serif typeface. And this is a quite good combination, I think, because it creates this vibe that he wants to create. It's luxurious because of this serif typeface, because of Adobe Caslon, this is a very classic typeface, combined with a rather modern one with the, with the active grotesque typeface. And then you have this pinch of salt, I would say, or this pinch of personality. And this would be then the caveat typeface, which is this handwritten approach. They all fit together very well. I think he could improve a bit when it comes to the spacing of the letters. I did a whole video about spacing uppercase letters and also lowercase letters a bit, but here we can apply this knowledge, I think, because when you take a look at the lieu de mer, I hope this is right, whatever, lieu de mer, it falls apart in this tremendous size here as a title. Also the word spacing could be a bit closer, so I'm going to change that for the H1 here. Oh, he's using Kark for the font size. Nice, nice, nice. So let's add here some letter spacing. Letter spacing and remove it by 0.01 EM or something to make it a bit more contact. Ah, it's a bit too much almost that the exit almost meets and I don't want them to touch. Don't touch yourself here. Letters, it's not okay. Don't be so obscene. 3.2, yeah. I think the problem here more lies not uh, so much in the letter spacing, it's more in the word spacing, I guess. So I'm going to reduce the word spacing as well, minus 0 0.1 EMs. Ah, that's better, but maybe too much. 0 0.8. Comparing it here from before to after. And I think it's better, it's a bit compactor and it's easier to read for the H1 now. So now let's continue further down here to this nice italic headings. I really like this. I really like this Hannes. I, I just love italics. They are so, they show some temperament here. The angles are a bit different. You see at the P and the I and this also makes it more natural and honest I guess. So it very much fits the purpose um, you wanted to convey or the things you wanted to convey or letter spacing at first minus 0 0.01 EM. Oh, this is better, 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 better or 0, 0, 08 or something like this. So comparing it, you see now it's getting compact. 
If you have a typhus and you scale it up, it's easier to see because it was spaced out for body text sizes. And now we have it at a size of 43 pixels or something. So double the body text size, at least, at least. And this means we can also reduce the letter spacing to make it more compact again. And we could also reduce the word spacing, minus 001 EMs or something. Uh, let's say 005, okay, yeah. Uh, maybe zero 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 eight. This is these are so tiny fractions. Am I too crazy to go into that detail? Uh, let me see zero zero six maybe. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is better, I guess. Yeah. So and if you compare it now, especially here, breezy textiles. It's so breezy. It's so textile. Uh, it's now it's not that blown away. It's more compact. Designed and crafted in Belgium. I was in, where did I go? To Brussels. I, and I loved it. Beer, waffles, who wouldn't? Chocolate, all the things you love. If I remove it again, you see how much it falls apart. And now, how much more compact it gets. Yes, yes, yes. This is nice. All right, okay, so, and now, the, th the last part here, you see at this H3 heading, this also applies here because if I remove it here, ooh, you see how loose it gets. It's too loose. And I think it's also harder to read because it takes up much more space than it has to. So removing it again makes it more compact, makes it easier to read. About the designer, let's check this out as well. Letter spacing as well. Minus 0 0.08, something like this. Yeah, and word spacing the same again. I'm just repeating myself. If you're still watching, enjoy me removing the space between the words. Ah, yes, word, you're getting closer now. And when you look at it now, you could also reduce the line height a bit. Oh, okay, 1.3. 1.3 is a bit much. Maybe it could be 1.2 or something, or 1.1 even. Oh, yes, now it gets compact. Compact as a Honda Civic. Or so. Before and after. Better. Pimped. <laughs> so. I hope you learned something today. I hope you subscribe to the Pimp My Type newsletter. And I also hope that you might submit your website that I can analyze it on the show like Hannes did. If you want some private assistance, I also offer typographic coaching course. Hope to see you next time. And don't forget to hit the red button that says in terribly spaced all caps letters, subscribe, bye. Jan Heuermann, I also reviewed his website recently, told me that I can use the, uh, the, the arrow keys, but I cannot because they don't move in 0 0.01 increments. They just move whatever. They don't do what I want.